What's up, Jaywalkers? We are back with another reaction, and we are going to be watching Season 1, Episode 6 of Heartstopper. So you can say it's going to be a great day. Uh, we're down to the final three, but we are so ready for these. Last episode was a good one. We had Charlie's birthday, and it was pretty iconic. Uh, that kiss they shared, the build-up was once again fantastic. So um, we really enjoyed that. And then, of course, Nick with the greatest birthday present of all time with that beautiful picture uh, just right from the heart. And we love to see that. And then another big scene that episode was Nick explaining to Imogen why they couldn't be together and how he's felt like he's buried his personality deep down inside for so many years. That was a very real and raw scene. Well acted. We're also really, really enjoying the scenes with Tao and Elle as their scenes have gotten better with each episode, but I'm shipping them really hard at the moment and can't wait to see more from them as well as we continue. Uh, but the full reactions will be over on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of every video over here on YouTube if you want to check out the full uncut, unedited reactions and get them early. Feel free to hit that link and do so. But with that being said, we're going to jump into it. Let's go. Okay. Movie night. Mamma mia. Mm, we've seen that four times this year already. Oh, well, I don't know. You think something... It's not enough. You need to at least see that movie ten times in a year. Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a classic, what do you think? It is a classic. Yeah. We can't deny that. I knew it was because you loved Kira Knight. Mum. What? She's a very pretty girl. I, I mean, yes, they are. Good. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Jes
is constantly second guessing yourself. One day you'll have a crush on a guy, and the next day you have a crush on a girl. Make a choice, and then you realize there isn't a choice. No choice it's is a combination made. of the both. Like, can I come? What? Why? Because you're performing. Oh, come on! You don't have to come. Front row! You've probably got way more interesting things to do. Shut up. Come on. Don't be silly, Charlie. They tried to teach me the drums once, and I am absolutely crap. This makes perfect. More, Let's see more pra drums uh, scenes between the two. Actually, well, we're sort of going out. I mean, we haven't. Come on! Just don't tell anyone, though. No, of course. Never gonna worry about that. When we were 13, I thought we were gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend forever. Yeah. Crazy how life so changes. I'll see out to your friends then. A real. Oh Since my. I, uh, my heart is just bursting full of happiness right now that Nick told her and then it just when she in the freaking the party scene when they were talking and she told Nick I love it so much my heart is exploding right now I'm really enjoying this you know you know in um it's gonna be a random movie to bring up but you know in Happy Gilmore when uh you know he has to go to he has to find his happy place and go to his happy place to, to you know, do good and, and all of that. It's been a while since I've the movie, but he needed his happy place. I think this, this whole damn show is it's my happy place. Everyone my goodness. Dorsey! <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Come on. Okay, everyone, from the top. This was an innocent wave of all time. Who's your boyfriend today? No, I'm waiting for your mum, actually. Tao should be a comedian. His comebacks are so funny. Even though what my sexuality is. That's okay. Tara didn't know she was a lesbian until we kissed like six times. <laughs> it was two times. <laughs> Charlie, tomorrow night, before the concert, That'd be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Double dates and milkshakes. A lot of people will see you in a different way, and it is a lot to deal with. We're seeing her deal with it. You, like, definitely gay. Or do you think you're bi? Or... I think I did like you. I mean, I think I have liked girls before. Kissing you is actually one of the things that made me realize I don't like kissing guys. <laughs> Happy to help. <laughs> uh, you're you're always helping in one yeah. way or another, Nick. Does it feel good to have told someone? Yeah. Look at it his really face. Does. Yes, it does. I love it. I love it. I didn't realize you were in a committed relationship. What? Chop. Wow, so not ready to tie the knot yet, then. <laughs> Shut up. Just about. Dave was banging on the door. <laughs> you that excited to see him, Nick? Sounded like the police banging on the door. You're staring. Is that what I was yeah, here? you were. That's a decent, decent view over here. Better view than the homework. I told her we're together. <laughs> what? Oh my <laughs> god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh! You're amazing. Force yourself because I'm out already. No, I wanted to tell them. <laughs> I don't, that homework, I don't think it's getting done. I'm gonna support you. <laughs> but if you change your mind, that's fine. Dude, his mind is made. And Tara and done. Darcy He's already there. Double date. I've never been on a date. Beautiful! You wanna go on? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> Tomorrow, do your happy dance, happy whatever the heck that is. I love it. Triple date. Not yet. Soon. I love that they're all just texting each other, having a good night. Oh, oh, oh! No. This man definitely likes you, Elle. No worries about it. So you're just here for the milkshakes, then? I said what I said. <laughs> My face is really starting to hurt. I'm smiling. You agreed to come if you thought it'd be boring. Uh, I'm a very <laughs> nice and supportive friend, obviously. Uh, no, he came the for the milkshakes. milkshakes and the milkshakes only. Look, a cute little pair. Just throw it out there, all right? I cannot believe you're disrespecting bubblegum flavor Ooh. in front of me. Bubblegum flavor it. sounds delicious. Wow. <laughs> so really? my life has changed. Oh, good choices. Okay, well, we can share. We are, is that the official rule of dating? Sharing drinks. It's one of them. Yeah. We should go on a date, just us. I'm sorry, that was stupid. We should. I'd like that. We seem really good together. Yeah. I think it's because we're friends, too. with the person you're dating. Yeah. That makes sense. 
I think Elle's feeling a little uncomfortable. Yeah. You Seems. Totally you're clearly trying to set something up between me and Tao. I think that you'd make a good couple. But I didn't ask you to do that. But you like him. So, yeah, but I don't want him to know that. With him is more important. And if he knew, then things would change. And I've had to deal with enough changes in my life lately. I don't want anything else to change. Yeah. Sharing stuff like that changes everything. Interrupting anything, am I? Mm. Um, what? No. You take those back. I'll wait for the last two. Are you sure? Yeah. It would be fun to go on a triple date. A triple date? Yeah. Um, you and Tao. Tao and Darcy. And... You and Charlie. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him I just need to find the right time. But he's the only one who doesn't know. Oh, I do, I do feel bad. Sharing earphones is just another I level really of you. cuteness. Oh, I love you too. Oh, that just about killed me. Heart. Don't look at her, you'll catch the lesbian disease. <laughs> How do people come up with this dumb stuff to say? <laughs> Here we go again. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. But you came. You seemed like you didn't want me to. Wouldn't, wouldn't have been. Did. Wouldn't have been the I same without you. Been researching about being bisexual. I'm not sure. Seen Tara and Dolph. Smiles. Oh my god. The door. Oh. Is that a makeout room? Oh my god. I'm sorry. Everything's changed since we came out. Yeah. I just wasn't prepared for things to change. I, did, I didn't think but so no one many should, people would The thing is, no one should ever have to deal with that. God, you're a lesbian. People giving me funny looks in the corridors, and I wasn't prepared for any of it. And I don't, I don't know how to behave anymore. I'm confident about your sexuality, and I still feel like I know nothing. I don't know anything either. I just want to live my life. We can do that. She left her name on my list. I don't think all she attacks me. There we go. <laughs> that was a tough scene, though. I think it'll get easier. To be on stage, like right now. Oh! Oh my! You know I can't run. It's not my fault. <laughs> Thanks, boy. I kiss one time. No problem. Get on a kiss one time. Are we okay? What a nickname yeah. for both of them. Yeah. Charlie's about to put on the performance of a <laughs> performance of a lifetime. Oh, I wanted to see it. I wanted to see. It. Oh my god! There we have it, guys. Season one, episode six of Heartstopper. Oh my goodness, another huge episode. But I'm feeling so many freaking emotions because of this one. And I mean, there's a lot to talk about here. We had Nick discovering himself, finding what he truly likes, and discovering that he could be bisexual. And I thought they did a really good job with all of that this episode. Uh, we see it with Nick watching the videos, and then even with the Pirates of the Car Caribbean movie, we can see his eyes kind of going back and forth. And I think they did a really good job with all of that. And even when he told, when he told Charlie that he could be, and Charlie's face, the smiles every freaking time, every time they see each other. Anytime they talk to each other. Freaking biggest smile in the world. But uh, we're, we're absolutely loving the smiles. We had a lot of good Nick and Charlie scenes in this one. Uh, the scene where they were laying down in the grass. I loved the, the camera angle of that. Um, it, looked like, it looked really good. It looked really freaking good. I, I like that scene a lot. And then Charlie suggesting they, they, said they should kiss. And then the people walking up. Um... But yeah, that was, that was a good scene that I really liked. And then when Nick told Charlie that he told Tara that they're together and facing that moment once again, another huge moment, rolling around on the ground together, no homework getting done, none at all. But that was another another really good one. Uh, but the, the freaking fact that Nick told Tara that they were together and the fact that he was comfortable enough and trusted her enough in that moment to tell her. Um, takes me back to the party scene when Nick talked to her because Harry, you know, made, made her made him go up to her. But and then Tara told told Nick that she was with Darcy. I mean, just, I, I love it. I love the freaking the friendship. I love all the friendships. They're getting bigger and better. And to, and then um, and then Charlie telling you know L that they're together as well uh, in the 
the milkshake moment. So everyone knowing besides Tao. But, I mean, we had a lot of big ones, a lot of big scenes. And then the freaking Tara scene. Uh, we, we see Tara going through it all throughout the episode, uh, dealing with these stupid comments and stupid remarks that people are making. And I, I don't see how people come up with some of these things and like how they could say that on someone's Instagram or why they would just saying that. I don't, I don't get it. But it, it was ridiculous that, that anyone has to go through that. She was going through that. And uh, we, we definitely see it, it take its toll on her. I mean, we see it all throughout the episode. But especially in the scene where she's locked in the room with Darcy. And we see the tear. We see her, you know, explaining how she feels and how it's all still new to her. And how she's not confident with it all yet. But um, the emotion in that scene, um, that was huge. Uh, Tara Jones, the acting, all of it, that was just a big scene. But I'm glad Darcy was there for her in that moment and made her feel better. They truly make an amazing couple, and we stand those absolute legends. Also, we're so absolutely loving everything with Elle and Tao. Elle mentioning early on that she has the crush on him to Tara and Darcy. We see the milkshake scene, all the comments being made, Elle feeling a little uncomfortable in that moment. Uh, it's not wanting to, to, to ruin the friendship or lose Tao in any way, but uh, the scene I love the absolute most with them is when they were sharing the earphones and they were walking together, Elle saying, I love you, just, that was so precious, and I swear to God, everybody in the show has my heart, all these couples, the whole show just has my entire freaking heart. But uh, once again, love the episode, really well done, all the stuff with Nick. Uh, you know, and him, you know, trying to find himself and everything. It was it was really good. So many, so many good scenes in this one. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.